Hey everyone, so I'm over here at visiting my brothers. Um, I had some trouble in the car, so I just turned off the camera. I don't even know if I'm going to put that in here or not. But um, they got SpongeBob in the background. It's kind of funny. Well, uh, yeah, I dropped off Haley. Haley's car is in the shop because it's just getting oil changed in the car and the tires rotated. And now we're just over here just hanging out and doing some stuff. Um, Miles is probably going to go jump in the pool later on. But, um, really the only news, I guess, is uh, lately I've been doing an EMT course and just finished it, so I'm now EMT certified. It's, that's kind of cool. Um, not really much else going on. Anybody want to say hi to the camera? Why? That's... Hey, oh, Tanner's gonna say hi. Howdy, y'all. How you like my new hat? <laughs> right now, I'm watching Star Fox kicking uh, Andras's Arby's uh, monkey lizard. Well, you get the idea. He's kicking butt. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I'm on a secret mission as well. I forgot what it was. It's so secret that I have no idea what it is. And I have to tell you, being here in Arizona this time of summer, it's hot. Really hot. Oh my eyes. I really need a shower. <sighs> this is a year where big things are coming. Big things. Big things. I have no idea what big things are coming, but big things. I need to wash my eyes. But I have to tell you, my first day of summer coming here, and it's been great. I had cheese pizza delivered in a Spider-Man pizza box, fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, glass of milk, and nice cool air conditioning. Cool. Miles wants to talk to the camera. Do? I thought you were a hand. Look, no, he needed to go wash his hands, so I was like, uh, well, you can say hi. Hey world. I don't know what to do with Talon's vlog, but... Arizona used to be hot to me now. It's 105 degrees and I kind of enjoy it, so yeah. <laughs> there's something wrong with me. I love the cold, so whatever. It's nap time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I'm getting a little hungry. Yeah, there's some pizza in the fridge. Uh, great. <laughs> You're like so excited. Look who pulled through! Yes, I did. Talon did it! Happy birthday. He went to the Target and got the Switch just like he said he would. Yep. So the yeah. person at Target was right. They were... They came in. They came in. There was in. only four in the whole store. That's what they told me. They only had... They only got in four. They had two... Uh, Neon ones and two gray ones. That seems crazy that they only got four yep. for the whole store. And I got one, and I'm sure the other three will be sold before the end of the weekend. Yeah. These switches are... I don't and know. They're, they're, just, just a, they're just a hot thing. Yeah. They're just going. Yeah, so... It's time to unbox the switch. And the Wii U is going to be... is <laughs> going to migrate... To the bedroom with the 360. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. And I just opened it. It's official now. It's official. Oh, there it is. Yay. It's tinier than I thought it would be. Yeah. And uh, I think there's like some screen, a screen protector or something that we might want to put on it too. Of course. So, um, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It is tiny. And then the little remotes. 
Yeah, the remotes are so teeny. Look at this compared to my hand. All the cords, HDMI cable. The bajillions of cords that come with the power cord, the little like, joystick you can put the slide the little handles in, I think. Yeah. Yep. Just a bunch of cords. Sensor bars, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm sure that's the actual console itself. Yeah, where the thing like slides into it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. This doing. might be the first console that I'll actually have to might like read the instructions to. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to use this one. I'm not. I've never seen it in real life before. Yeah. They don't even have them like on display at the stores. To, no, like, they see. don't. So like. The pictures. This is the first time I've seen and touched one. I want to touch it. <laughs> Sorry, Nintendo's like, oh. All right, let's set it up. <laughs> so a little update. We have had the switch for about a week. A week or so, maybe a little more than a week. We've played it. We've experienced it, and. Talon, how would you describe the Switch? What would your review be? So, we only have one game so far, and that's uh, The Ultimate Legend of Zelda. Um, I think it's the best Zelda yet. <laughs> Just like how the gameplay is so different, it's more open world, and I like that aspect a lot more. Um, but the Switch overall, I think, is great. Uh, it's Haley the other day was playing it in the car. <laughs> that's, and that was actually pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. I like how diverse it is, and I'm excited to play it with other games where you'll use the uh, controllers in different ways. So far, I, th I think Nintendo outdid themselves. You know, I was very disappointed in the Wii. The Wii U was great, amazingly great, and this is even a hundred times better than that. It's um, all I can say is that Microsoft better step up. <laughs> Well, that's one thing that Microsoft hasn't really made is like a portable gaming system. Well, no one has. Well, PlayStation has their like Vita. Well, yeah, but it's it's n this time the Switch, it the console itself is portable. That's what I mean. And that's like, never been done. There isn't there isn't anything like it that. There isn't. Like Nintendo, like pretty much, is the only company that really does that well. Yeah. And like, uh, and you can't compare the the DS, the, the Nintendo no. DS, the Nintendo Game Boys. That's different than the actual consoles. It, those games are, um, I don't know what to put it. They're, they're not as powerful. They don't have. They're not very right. Large. I mean the they're, they're very very different. I mean the 3DS now, or at least the one that I have. I don't I haven't played the newer versions. You have, but a, I you have a pretty new version. But anyway, I would say it's like equivalent to walking around with like a Nintendo 64. Mm, yeah, about that. Like in terms of like graphics and like gameplay and stuff like that. I, I would say that, yeah. So the Switch is, yeah, much better. So I, th I think Microsoft needs to do that next. Because Microsoft and uh, Sony both, their Playstations and Xboxes, they've never had anything that had to do with like touch screens or... Um, well, have you have you known stuff. anyone, or have you actually used like a PlayStation Vita? No, I don't know anyone who has one. I don't know anyone I, who. I used the it. old, like, uh, what were the the PlayStation? Uh, I think we just called devices. the PSP. The, the PSP, yeah, yeah. I, I had a PSP for a little while, but that's it. Oh, because I I don't know anyone who plays the Vita. The Vita. Yeah. I've never even like really seen the PlayStation one in itself is much more popular. Yeah. But no, I've never seen anyone use it. I don't even see Nintendo DSs that much anymore either. No, not really. Not as much as like I like, like when the Game play, Boys yeah. were around, they were a big deal. I see kids play the 3DS, but I don't see. Adults. I never see adults play them. I see plenty of adults playing consoles though. That's true. 
probably a cost thing. I mean, the 3DSs are way cheaper than yeah. any kind of console. Yeah, but they're just not as... They're not, they're not as, as powerful. But you don't get the same entertainment experience. But now that has come to an end. Yeah. What's an Nintendo Now that Switch? the Switch has come out, I I hope Microsoft's next Xbox tries to compete in that level, make their games more like touchscreen motion controller kind of Portable. style things. Did we show them it when we opened it up? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, we got it all set up and it's like hooked up to our TV. and. Yeah. So what's cool is it's hooked up to the TV and the screen, you just pull it out of the dock and then it's playable on the screen wherever you go. Yeah. Which is cool. It's great. Yeah. Is there anything about it that you don't like? No? You like pretty much everything? Yeah. There's nothing I don't like. I would say the one thing that I don't like is how expensive the controllers are. That's that's a Thing I do have a problem with is because we wanted to get another game, a two-player game. Yeah. And the controllers for you know a set that has a right-handed and a left-handed because I guess you can buy like you can buy like a right ones? or a left hand yeah. by themselves, which is weird. That is weird. So yeah, because this is the problem I have is that you know the xbox controllers and the playstation controllers right now if you buy them brand new just you know straight from microsoft they're sixty dollars yeah but the and nintendo, the nintendo switches, switch controllers eighty dollars for bucks. a right hand and a left hand yeah and that's the cheapest i, I found I, there's places that sell them for way more yeah there's places that sell them for more than that yeah but I, eighty dollars is the cheapest i found i, I don't understand that oh, that's just like because if we wanted to get the game and a sudden you have to have a set like, to play. You, you, there's, it's like one hundred and forty dollars. The only game that's out right now that I know of that you only use one part to play is the Mario, Mario Kart. Yeah. And it's not even the new Mario Kart. It's a either. rehash. It's just <laughs> it's like an updated version that's what for the Switch. Yeah, what Mario Kart Eight should have been. It's Mario Kart Eight Deluxe for the <laughs> Switch. Yeah. That's that's it. All the other games, you have to have both controls to play. So yeah, that's our that's our review of the Switch. That's ridiculous. Other than that, though, it's uh, other than pricing, I think it's a great console. Mm -hmm. Definitely the best Nintendo that's ever come out. Truth. Right. Well, that does it for us tonight. Yeah, we're gonna go we're to done. bed now. Bye.